Hi everyone, welcome. Mary Jo Feely with 4th Dimension Healing. Today I would like to explore with you how we can work with the wind element to support healing and specifically how we can work with gemstones and crystals that align and resonate with the wind element frequency. When we think about wind, what I would like us to think about primarily is how we support the healing that goes on in our brain and within our mind. We've all had times when we are able to make decisions easily, we are in a state of calmness and relaxation, and we are thinking very clearly. Those are examples of balanced wind. However, when we have an overactive mind, when we have a sluggish mind or a foggy, kind of hard to make decision kind of experience going on in our brain state, those are examples of imbalanced wind. We can work with gemstones and crystals to support the clearing and the rebalancing of those energies in our brain and in our mind. Each of these stones and crystals that I've brought resonate with the wind element frequency. A couple of them also resonate with other elements as well, and so I'll mention that when I get to them. So keep in mind that wind disruption shows up in different ways. One of the classic ways it shows up is a sense of having kind of chaotic energy going on in our brain. And what we're really seeking during healing is a reordering or a repatterning of that chaos back into order. The stone that I like to work with predominantly when that's a situation is fluorite. So fluorite has this ability to take that chaotic energy and basically just reorder it. Kind of get it back in alignment. Fluorite comes in all kinds of different shades and hues. This is an example of a banded, striped, multicolored fluorite. Very helpful in kind of reorganizing that chaotic energy. Here is a piece of blue fluorite. It's an octahedron. And an octahedron is a natural state in which the fluorite grows. Now sometimes we can work with gemstones and crystals and work with the color of the crystal to support the various energy centers or chakras. And so if we wanted to do that, this would really align very well with that brow chakra. Reorganizing and reordering imbalanced energies. Here is an example of green fluorite got some white in it. This is a great example. You can see that cubic structure. So whether it's a tumbled stone and we don't see its cubic structure or this one where we do, it's all the same stone. Working with the sense of chakras and colors, we could work with green fluorite, bringing that compassionate green heart energy up into our brain space to support that balancing and clearing in a way that's very compassionate for the work that we're doing. So those are examples of how fluorite might be able to support you. Another way that imbalanced wind shows up is when we have an inability to see things clearly. It's, we, it's almost as if we're just really looking for a little bit of an aha, that clear insight and vision. And lapis lazuli is a stone that can very much help us with that. Fluorite takes the chaos and makes it into order. Lapis lazuli has this beautiful ability to bring insight and clarity. Now lapis has flecks of gold-like mineral in it, and that's pyrite. And pyrite is an earth element stone. So even though we've got lapis, which is a very much a wind element stone, it's got some of those flecks of that earth energy being pulled up to support that clearing of that um, 
those energy patterns that are interfering with our ability to be able to have that wisdom and insight more clearly visible to us. Do more to your right is a wind element stone. Comes in all kinds of different shades of blue. This particular stone, Demordia Rite, has a calming energy. So it's not about reordering chaos. In my experience, it's not about clarity and, and insight as much as it is simply calming. Demordia Rite's message, for example, is basically calm down, it's okay, relax. So it's got a real soothing frequency. Blue calcite is a wind element stone, and this particular blue calcite also resonates with the earth frequency. Calcite is a premier clearing stone. And so when we take a look at its properties of clearing and its earth properties of grounding, and then drawing all those up into that brain space. That's the beauty of blue calcite. Amethyst is the final stone I brought to show you today. Amethyst is a fairly common quartz crystal, fairly easy to find. This one happens to be a point, which means it grew it literally formed with all those structures moving into one point. Working with a pointed crystal or also a, a crystal with a termination can be really helpful because we can use that termination or that point to direct energy. So for example, if you were to want to work with a piece of amethyst that has a termination or a point and point it away it'll draw energy off. Whereas if you would like to work with that same stone and draw energy in, you could work with it with the point pointing towards the top of your head. That's an example. Now amethyst also comes often in a tumbled form. Here is a tiny little piece of tumbled amethyst this would be the kind of stone that you could slip inside a pillowcase, you could hold it in your hand, you could place it above your head, you could place it anywhere on or around your body, you could put it in a pocket. All kinds of different ways to bring in those same wind element frequencies. Now amethyst predominantly is going to be pulling these spiritual energies down. And so as it's helping to support the wind clearing and balancing in our brain, it means that our brain and mind is then more open to receive that wisdom, that spiritual guidance, and those frequencies that are permeating down from the top of our energy field in opposition to the blue calcite. that as its earth element aspect is pulling those energies up. So these are examples of a few of the gemstones that resonate with the wind element frequency. Now you may have some at home, you may be new to working with gemstones and crystals and so welcome, it's a wonderful way to support the healing that we're doing by working with the gemstones and crystals. If you are not sure if you have wind element stones or not, please go out to my webpage, the link is below this video, and go to my online shop onto my gemstone page. You can filter and sort my gemstones a number of different ways. So select wind element, and you will get an opportunity to see a number of the various stones that I carry that resonate with the wind element, and you'll be able to help more clearly understand what it is you already have at home that you're working with, or perhaps you'll see something that you're interested in, and if so, feel free to send me an email or chat through my webpage if you have questions. I'm more than happy to help you in any way. So again, here is an example of some of the number of gemstones and crystals that resonate with the wind element. 
all about supporting the mind and calming that brain space. And I wish you well on your healing journey. If you'd like to continue to be notified when I post new videos, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, forward this on to anybody you think would be helpful, and you can always go ahead and like me as well. So anyway, until um, we meet again, I offer you many blessings. Be well.